don't understand how skaters don't hurt themselves more. We do. We just don't complain about it a lot. And I went through a pretty horrific injury last year, broke my femur. I got back on my skateboard too soon and I ended up making the bones misaligned. So they never actually connected back to themselves. So I had another surgery, had the bones realigned. I'm, I'm lucky to live in this age of modern medicine. Yes. Hey, I'm Tony Hawk. As you know, the internet is full of a lot of people and a lot of varying opinions. So today I'm going to read all of them. No, I'm gonna read some of them and respond to even less of them. This is don't read the comments. So <laughs> here we go. Did he know who you were? I met Tupac at the American Music Awards in 1994 backstage. He was standing alone. I recognized him. I was very excited. He was very cool, very affable. Uh, he did not know who I was. <laughs> My dream of cloning Tony Hawk is now one step closer. Clony Hawk. We did a promotion with Liquid Death canned water. The idea was that I gave some of my blood and then they used that as paint for 100 skateboards. I was inspired by the band Kiss who did that with comic books in the 70s. And I'm not gonna lie, once I did this promotion and I did it on the 100 decks, I bought one of the Kiss comic books. So now I have that with that skateboard next to each other. So it's come full circle. People who don't understand how Clark Kent can pass as Superman have never seen Tony Hawk without a skateboard. I think my favorite one was, I was at one of the TSA security checkpoints. It was in Anchorage, Alaska. I was coming back from a heli snowboarding trip. And the woman said, Anthony Hawk. Oh, like Tony Hawk. And I said, exactly. And she said, oh, I wonder what he's up to these days. And I said, this. And she looked at me blankly and handed me my ID and I went on the plane. Let's put it this way, I, I can get dinner reservations with my name, but show up and people would know it's me. Here's a fun travel hack. If you're traveling within the US, you can carry your skateboard and put it in the overhead. So when I carry my skateboard, people think somehow that I'm trying to draw attention to myself or like, look, it's me, it's me. It, it's, that's not the case. It makes getting to your gate a lot faster if you're stealthy. That's all I'm saying about that. Mike Tyson about to become a skateboarder with Tony Hawk. So <laughs> I did Mike Tyson's podcast. I want to make a video of me giving the skateboard to Mike. That's all I cared about. Literally as I arrived, I had a skateboard in my hand to hand him, and he was one of the first people I saw when I walked in. I said, Mike, I have the skateboard that I want to give you. He's like, oh, give me that thing. And he immediately puts it on the ground. And luckily my friend just happened to already turn on the camera because Mike puts it on the ground, starts doing what we call a tic-tac. He hit this chair and immediately just falls, got up and checked to see if his wife was watching, which she wasn't. But he's like, don't tell her, shh, don't tell her. I was like, everyone has it on camera. What do you mean don't tell her? How is this guy still in such amazing shape? I don't know if I'm in amazing shape, but I, I guess I'm in pretty good shape for a 55 year old. My only secret is consistency. I, I just never stop skating for any great length of time. Even if I'm not skating, I'm trying to go surfing or just stay in motion. That's, that's my big secret. Rotational feats in sports get increasingly difficult as body weight and size increase. Tony Hawk doing it in 2016 as a 48 year old man, that's a feat 100 times more impressive than young Tony Hawk doing it. I thank you. And it did feel 100 times more difficult. So <laughs> I agree with that assessment. <laughs> I wonder if Tony Hawk was the one who picked the music. That soundtrack was legendary. My contributions were more of the older songs that were in there, the sort of original punk, stuff like Dead Kennedys, Black Flag, Joy Division. The newer ones were the amazing crew at Activision because they had such a great music team who eventually went on to do Guitar Hero. So it was the perfect storm of, of contributions. They announced that they were gonna do a whole bunch of new emojis and this skateboard that they showed was straight out of the early 80s. When I approached the emoji guy <laughs> about trying to modernize what they had presented as the first version of the skateboard emoji, I just sent him a picture of my skateboard. So the skateboard emoji is literally my skateboard. I ride bigger wheels than most skaters because I, I skate big ramps and so I like to keep my speed up. So that's why the skateboard emoji has big wheels. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. I collect movie props and more specifically, I collect anything to do with skateboarding and movie props. Most recently I bought skateboard that was used in the movie Hook uh, with Rob Williams and one of the hoverboards from Back to the Future. And the hoverboard is actually signed by the cast, Christopher Lloyd, Michael J. Fox. Michael J. Fox said, cowabunga young man. And I can't tell you the validation I got when I saw those comments. He unwittingly inspired a generation to start skating. So I thanked him for that. And he apologized for unleashing 
the storm of skateboarding onto the world. Very on brand, Michael J. Fox. Uh, apparently Tony Hawk can sing too. I, I don't know, it depends on who you ask. <laughs> I was on The Masked Singer. I sang a Cure song. I was the elephant and I was the first voted off. I stand by my performance. I was on key. They just didn't like The Cure. Haters. <laughs> I am in the Weird Al Yankovic video for Smells Like Nirvana. Our team manager for Birdhouse Skateboards called me up and said, hey, do you want to be in a Weird Al video? And I didn't even ask any questions. I said, yes, absolutely. Tell me where and when. I'm not very visible because I was sort of in the background and the shoot went to like 2 or 3 a.m. I didn't stay for the bitter end. But there's one sweeping shot of the crowd in the bleachers and you can see me. How young is too young to start teaching my kids to skate? I don't like putting an age on it. I, I feel like my kids were just surrounded by it and they picked up on it very early on, not long after they learned to walk. That's not Elmo, that is, oh, it's Murray, yes. I was actually in New York with Cadence, who had been recently born. They were shooting a Sesame Street thing right near where we were. And someone from the crew recognized me and said, hey, Tony, you wanna do something with us? Sure, here's a skateboard. They had a skateboard. And so I counted the wheels on a skateboard and. That's how I got on Sesame Street. Count them for me. One, two, three, four. Four wheels. <laughs> I was walking by Murray in the streets of New York. Uh, you need to get dressed up like an old man and go shred a skate park and freak people out. <laughs> Do I need to dress up like an old man? No, I went as Larry David for Halloween a few years ago. I don't know if Larry ever saw it. Every Halloween, those pictures come back around. If there were a burger order called the Tony Hawk, what would be on it? Oh man, I kind of, I feel like kind of old school would be definitely ketchup and mustard, pickles, lettuce, and you know, if you're feeling Californian, a little avocado. Is that taboo? That's it, old school. Okay, so I heard what the internet had to say and I responded, hopefully, enough. Thanks for watching.